So the recipe starts with one can of refrigerated seamless crescent roll dough. Now, if you um, can't find the, the seamless dough sheets, you can just use the regular crescent roll dough, but don't get the flavored kind. I know there's like a garlic butter flavor kind and a couple different flavors. You want to get the original crescent roll dough and you'll just kind of push the, um, the perforations together. So either one will work. I love using the seamless dough when it comes to recipes. And I always try and keep a can or two of these in the fridge because, you know, you can do so many different things with them at the last minute. Sweet, savory, and um, these are going to be really nice and, and, and sweet and delicious. So the filling for this, one block, eight ounce block of softened cream cheese. And that's, again, something I normally keep cream cheese in the fridge for bagels or recipes. My kiddos, especially Ireland, just loves breakfast. She is a breakfast person and gets bored real easily with, you know, the same old cereal and bagels. I think we all do and toast. So she's one that really looks forward to something new and fun. Now I'm going to sweeten up this cream cheese with some powdered sugar, about a third of a cup, and a little bit of vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, we'll just eyeball it. That's going to give this cream cheese some really nice flavor. I'm using a mixer because I want to get all the lumps and bumps out of the cream cheese. It makes it nice and smooth. And if you don't take the time to do this, those lumps are going to be there and that's no good. So I really want to take a minute or so to do this right. I got this idea from my mom, who loves chocolate. She's like me, she's a chocoholic, and happened to have some chocolate chips in the pantry and a tube of crescent rolls in the refrigerator, and just, you know, thought about putting, uh, making the crescent rolls just like you would, you know, for dinner, but throwing some chocolate chips in there. And so she's been doing that forever and been telling me about it. And so I thought, how can I, you know, kind of take her spin on that, make them really pretty and something a little different. And I love the idea of, you know, um, I love like blonde brownies with the cream cheese or cheesecake brownies, that whole thing with the, that and the chocolate chips. So this is a fun recipe. So we've also got just some mini chocolate chips, but if all you have on hand are regular chocolate chips, those are gonna work fine, just fine too. So we've got one tube of the seamless crescent roll dough. And we always fight in our house over who gets to open up the canned biscuits. Cause they usually make that kind of fun pop. Oop, there we go. It wasn't a lot, as loud of a pop as normal. They let me down, but that's okay. Okay. So now you're just going to unroll the rectangle and uh, kind of stretch it out a little bit. I'm going to make one big rectangle, as big as you can. But you don't need a rolling pin or anything like that. Okay, so stretch out that dough a little bit, and now we're going to take the cream cheese and schmear, like, you know, you get a bagel and you go to New York and you have a schmear of cream cheese, schmear some of this, or spread this mixture over the crescent roll dough, but you want to leave about a quarter, half inch. of the dough so that we're going to be able to roll this up. All right. <coughs> These are so quick and easy. You don't have to wait for anything to rise or anything like that. Okay. 
There, you get to lick that in. I just want to check the ones that we've got in the oven. Oh, they're looking really nice. Okay, so now we're going to just take some, some of the chocolate chips, sprinkle the chocolate chips over the top. <laughs> yummy, 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 I know. Chocolate breakfast cookies, they just keep getting better and better. Not just for breakfast anymore. And these, I'm calling them breakfast cookies because they'd be a real fun breakfast treat, but they're going to be a great dessert snack, just a fun thing to make and easy. All right, so we've got our chocolate chips. Might as well use them all, huh? And now we're going to just roll them up. Carefully roll them up. This is kind of fun because it's like the kids can help with this and it's like making a snake with Play-Doh. Mm. Oh, now, I'm going to go ahead and get to work with these right away, but it, if you have the time, it makes these even prettier. I'm going to just cut off the ends. And we'll bake those up. If you can wrap this in saran wrap, and park it in the fridge for about a half hour to an hour, that's going to make these even easier to cut and easier to work with. So I've got a nice big cookie sheet, jelly roll pan, and I, this is real important. I want to line the pan with parchment paper. Um, that way these aren't going to stick. They're going to really work out nicely when I bake them. And then I take just quarter inch pieces, and once these are on the cookie sheet. Remember, they're really going to spread out. And then my producer, Abby, said, flip it over. This parchment paper, because it's in a roll, tends to roll right back up. When, when you're doing like puff pastry and, and things like this, you don't have to do this parchment paper, but it just really will, uh, you know, prevent them from sticking. They'll slide right off and don't have any dishes to do afterwards either, which is a beautiful thing. So you want to spread these out, about quarter inch pieces. And like I say, this dough is real uh, tender because we didn't take the time to refrigerate it, it's still easy to work with. It's, these are going to taste fine. They're going to look really good. But if you have that extra half hour or, work, or so, wrap them in that saran wrap and get them back in the fridge, and then they'll just be a little bit easier to work with. Definitely don't take the crescent rolls out, the dough out of their fridge until you're just about ready to use it. And these are a real quick, quick bake. The kids are hungry. You want a fun, special treat to serve them. These are going to bake up in, in like 10 minutes or 10 to 12 minutes. The chocolate's going to get all melty. The pastry's going to puff up, and it's just going to be fantastic. So you get the idea. And you just peeked at them in the oven. How did they look? Beautiful. Beautiful. And I can smell the chocolate. I can smell the wonderfulness of, of it. And it's such, just such a quick fix. I mean, 10 minutes or so, anybody can do that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give them just a minute or so. I don't know if you can see them, but I just wanna, they're not quite done yet, but they're so cute. So I'm gonna get them back in the oven, um, just get them a little bit, a little bit more golden and we'll take them out of the oven in just two minutes. So stick with us. If you're looking for that recipe, you can get it on the website. You can also pick it up in any area festival foods.